Hi and welcome to the part 2 of C++ interview questions and answers from careerright.com. What is searching? Explain linear and binary search. Finding the location of a given element in a given data structure is called as searching. There are two types of search: linear search and binary search. In linear search, the element to be searched is compared with each element of the given list one by one, starting with first element. The process of comparison continues until the element is not found or list gets exhausted. Binary search is a technique of searching an element in a given list in minimum possible comparisons. There are two conditions required to be fulfilled to perform binary search. One, the elements of the list must be arranged either in ascending or descending order. Two, the list must be of finite size and should be in form of linear array. Explain selection sorting. In selection sorting, one has to perform n minus 1 iterations to sort a linear array containing n elements. In first iteration, we select the first minimum value and interchange it with the element present at first position. In second iteration, we select the second minimum value and interchange it with the element present at second position and so on. What is insertion sorting? In insertion sorting, an array is divided into two parts. One, the sorted part, two, the unsorted part. Initially, the sorted part contains only one element and unsorted part contains remaining n minus 1 elements. We pick elements from unsorted part one by one and insert them into the sorted part. Thus, we have to perform n minus 1 iterations to sort a linear array. What are the various situations when a copy constructor is invoked? Various situations when a copy constructor is invoked are 1. When an object is defined and initialized with the values of another object of the same type. 2. When an object is passed by value method. Then copy constructor is invoked to create a copy of the passed object for the function. 3. When a function returns an object, then copy constructor is invoked to create a temporary object to hold the return value in the memory. What is the need of a destructor? Explain with the help of an example. During construction of an object, resources may be allocated for use. For example, a constructor may have opened a file and memory area may be allocated to it. These allocated resources must be deallocated before the object is destroyed. A destructor performs all cleanup tasks like closing a file, deallocating and releasing memory area etc. automatically. List the special characteristics of constructor. A constructor has the same name as that of a class. It is automatically invoked when an object of the class is declared. Constructor obeys the usual access rule. Private and protected constructor can only be accessed by the member function and friend function of the class. Public constructor is available for all the functions. Only that function can create the object that has access to the constructor. No return type is specified for the constructor. Constructor can also have default arguments. A constructor can invoke the member functions. The default constructor and copy constructor are provided by the compiler only if they are not defined by the programmer. What are the different ways in which parameterized constructor can be invoked? Parameterized constructor can be invoked in following ways. One, by implicit calling. We mean here that the constructor's name is not specified in the calling statement. 2. By explicit calling. This means that the constructor's name is specified in the calling statement. What are identifiers? An identifier is the user-defined name given to different elements in a program via variable name, class name, function name, array name, etc. Identifiers are infinite in numbers. What are the different types of comments allowed in C++? Comments are the text which is inserted in the source code to make it more readable and understandable. Two types of comments are allowed in C++. 
सिंगल लाइन कमेंट्स एंड मल्टीपल लाइन कमेंट्स वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड एन ओवरलोडेड असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर अ कॉपी कंस्ट्रक्टर इज यूज विद इन द क्लास टू कॉपी वन ऑब्जेक्ट इन टू अ न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट दिस कैन बी डन बाय यूजिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट इन इट वेयर एज एन ओवरलोडेड असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर लिंक्स एन एग्जिस्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट टू एनदर ऑब्जेक्ट इन द सेम क्लास हाउ डू यू इम्प्लीमेंट इज ए एंड हैज ए क्लास रिलेशनशिप इज ए इज अ क्लास रिलेशनशिप विच इज स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ एन अदर क्लास इट इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब द रिलेशनशिप विद अदर क्लासेस दिस रिलेशनशिप कैन बी सीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन इनहेरिटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ एन एम्प्लॉय क्लास इज देयर विद अ पर्सन देन द एम्प्लॉय इज अ पर्सन हैज अ शोज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन क्लासेस हेयर द क्लास कैन कंटेन इंस्टेंसेज ऑफ एन अदर क्लास फॉर एग्जाम्पल एम्प्लॉय हैज एन कम सो द एम्प्लॉय क्लास हैज हैज अ रिलेशनशिप विद द सैलरी क्लास वेन आर टेम्पलेट्स यूज टेम्पलेट्स आर यूज फॉर जेनरिक क्लासेस दैट कंटेन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अदर टाइप्स दे अलाउ यू टू मैनेज द ऑब्जेक्ट विद देयर फॉर्मेट एंड बिहेवियर इंटैक्ट टेम्पलेट्स आर यूज वेन मोर देन वन क्लास टाइप हैज टू बी यूज एंड दे डिफाइन द क्लासेज ऑल्सो एट द रन टाइम दे आर यूज वेन द टाइप ऑफ क्लास इज अ नोन टू द यूजर और मैनेजर ऑफ द क्लास वॉट इज पॉइंटर a pointer is a variable that holds a memory address this address is the location of another object in memory what is pointer to constant pointer to constant points to a value that does not change and is declared as const type star name type here is data type and name is name of the pointer what is pointer constant pointer constant or constant pointer is a pointer which you don't want to be pointed to a different value that is the location stored in the pointer cannot change we cannot change where the pointer points it is declared as type star const name type here is data type name is name of the pointer explain function pointers a function has a physical location in the memory and this is the address used when a function is called this address can be assigned to a pointer once a pointer points to a function it can be called through that pointer function pointers also allow functions to be passed as arguments to other functions describe pointer to member c++ allows you to generate a special type of pointer that points to a member of a class not to a specific instance of that member in an object this type of pointer is called a pointer to a class member or a pointer to member what are the advantages of using function prototypes in c++ all functions must be declared before they are used this is accomplished using function prototype prototypes enable compiler to provide stronger type checking when prototype is used the compiler can find and report any illegal type conversions between the type of arguments used to call a function and the type definition of its parameters it can also find the difference between the number of arguments used to call a function and the number of parameters in the function thus function prototypes help us trap bugs before they occur what is function overloading function overloading is the process of using the same name for two or more functions the secret to overloading is that each redefinition of the function must use either different types of parameters or a different number of parameters it is only through these differences that the compiler knows which function to call in a particular situation what is inline function an inline function is a combination of macro and function at the time of declaration or definition function name is preceded by word inline when inline functions are used the overhead of function call is eliminated in a step the executable statements of the function are copied at the place of each function call what is virtual function a virtual function is a member function that is declared within a base class and redefined by a 
derived class. To create virtual function, proceed the functions declaration in the base class with the keyword virtual. When a class containing virtual function is inherited, the derived class redefines the virtual function to suit its own needs. What is an array? An array is a collection of variables of the same type that are referred to through a common name. A specific array element is accessed by an index. In C++, arrays consist of contiguous memory locations. The lowest memory address corresponds to first element and the highest to the last element of the array. Arrays could be single dimensional or multidimensional. A string is most common example of an array. It is a single dimensional array of characters. What is C string? C string is null terminated string which is simply a null terminated character array. While declaring a C string, we need to declare it to be one character longer than the largest string that it is supposed to hold. One extra location is reserved to store the null character at the end of the string. What are the limitations of C string? C string cannot contain zero as a character in them. C strings are essentially null terminated strings. Hence, the zero contained in them is considered as the end of the string.